بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي And you remember what we went over last week or yesterday actually two days ago Mashallah Yeah When you first enter a gathering or when you're leaving a gathering the etiquette isn't just to say salam when you come to the gathering, but also when you are departing one another, you also say salam. And then we talked about the three different ways of saying salam. One is assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. About the third one, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said is the one who gained the most reward because of how much he added. So when we say salam to someone, we should try our best to say all of it. And if not, then Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah will also gain us significant reward, inshaAllah ta'ala. Now next is, and again we're just continuing on about when we're entering our homes, uh, particularly. Another aspect that um, Sheikh Abdul Fattah Abu Ghudda brings is that when we enter our homes, obviously be gentle, as was already mentioned, come in calmly, don't let the door slam behind you. But when you come, don't be so quiet or don't be so stealth that when you come upon your family or your children or the people in the house that they get startled by seeing you because they didn't anticipate your arrival. To the extent that the Prophet wasallam says in a hadith that a person who comes back home from a travel and again this is referring to the time of the Prophet wasallam, but there's still a lesson we take from it that anyways when a person comes back home from travel he shouldn't just come upon his wife or surprise his family at a time when they are not anticipating him. Because number one, that builds or that hurts the trust between the husband and the wife. That why didn't you, didn't you let me know that you're coming? The Prophet would say, first come to the masjid, the next day go to your home. But alhamdulillah in our time, the lesson is, don't surprise your family in a state that they probably wouldn't like to be surprised. Right? Build that trust, have that trust, and be there and come with letting them know that you are coming, number one. Number two, that when we enter our home, there was a sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and particularly the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een such as Abdullah ibn Mas'ud Radiallahu An. His son says about him that when my father Abdullah ibn Mas'ud used to wake, when he used to come home, he used to announce his arrival by calling his family in a cordial manner. That when he comes, he comes home and lets them know, hey, I'm here. Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal also had a similar practice and likewise the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een that when he would come home, he would kind of clear his throat, <coughs> you know, letting them know, or assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, or let them know by some way that I am here, so that way when you finally go upon them, when you finally enter in the same room as them, they are not startled by your presence, and they are not scared by you coming. In another hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet actually said, don't be amongst those, or a person who scares one another, deceits one another, is not amongst us. And so it's very important to make sure that when we are entering our homes, we are making our presence felt, but at the same time we're not disturbing those who might be sleeping or busy in other tasks. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all understanding and the ability to embed and implement and bring this into our life like from today. Jazakumullah khayb. Subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanakumahu wa bihamdik. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa antal sa'afiru kabana tu.